Bernies. Ah, oh, just clean that. Oh, I didn't think about that. Ah, oh, That's annoying. All over the roof. Just, just while you watch that. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Tom Hollis Garage. Bloody mono leaves. Yeah. Man, to rubber that is. That is actually a. That is like. Three years worth of toy, right? It's like there. a whole toy there. That is, that's the third. That's when you get free. I want to speak to someone at the Jane Corporation, thanks. Something's going on here. Bloody hell. That's a lot. That's All right, good. so we have to take the tow bar off, which is going to suck. Yeah, that's annoying. And spoke to a Wick motor fab guy about it. And there are other kits, well, not everyone like us, has a tow bar on there. This isn't a race car either, this is just a go to the This is, car. yeah, this is. But slowly, like everything we've got, it's, it's turning into a race car. Yeah, for some not reason. Not what the thing was. We're doing drag challenge, and that's as fast as it's going. Yeah. It is what it is. But, um, uh, been told, oh, put lower gears and this and that. No. I could put that diff center in it there. That's just, just four elevens. We pick up half covered in rubber and left but, out in the rain. But yep, yeah. yeah. I mean it's good. Bloody case that's, hardening. That's not where it's. Yeah, we could, but we're not going to. So, but on the highway though, when we've got them three five gears and we're doing what twenty nine hundred RPM, just oh, I actually fat up. Oh, you'll be fat up. Everyone's like in their four eleven gears. Like, no, no, we'll just what. Point like, last. Like the Jetsons, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, another big news. Oh, mate, it's not allowed to roast the G Force. Yeah. Um, Have a go at this. So Apparently, I'm not allowed. Too slow. I'm too slow. Un Australian thing I've ever heard. You can't roast your bloody Holden with your 186 eating your meat pie, running over nah. kangaroo down the strip. No good. And you're holding you. We buddy had word from buddy. This means we know Scotty watches our videos. Yeah. So we know you're watching Scotty. Scotty's here. <laughs> uh, too slow, so it has been an unofficial rule that you have to be bit 14. around the 12s or under 14. 14s, yeah, that uh, sort of area. But, but apparently, yeah, I reckon it'll run a 17. They'd probably, I'd, if, if I buddy, chance, if I have a shit we, before we go. Um, so, yeah, we'll try and get a pass in somewhere with it just yep. to see. But just roll buddy, off. just let bloody boys at bloody Street Machine know. Bloody un Australian, mate. Yeah, go Even on, boys. I don't really care. Oh, mate's wrapped nah. because he's like, I don't have to do anything goes, anymore. You can't help anyone or you know, do anything. Yeah, no, that's the other thing. I we said, are... oh, he's going to be really upset about that, isn't he? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that was the plan. We were going to, I was going to carry spares and just general yeah. general parts for everyone. But, but, um, help people out. I guess it does. I guess it does go against the uh, actually, I didn't actually think about it when we we're doing it. it yeah, go against the rules. it does go against the rules. Um, but, um, but he could stand back and give advice if something's fallen off. Yeah, I can. It's like, oh, it's broken and laugh and then walk off, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah. So that'll be fine. All right, this isn't really getting the job done. We're no, it isn't. Things. We're just talking about nothing. All right, let's. So, uh, no, I guess we've got a hoist. I don't know if we just... have the tow bar first. It's going to be easier. Mm. We need one person in, one person oh. underneath. Yeah, right. Let's have a look. We'll get back to you. Yeah, right. Right, I just uh, <laughs> just went to check these bolts out, and uh, you want to want to lift that want to lift that cover or? This guy. So back when we were six cylinder, got Florence going, we're all fatted up, picking all the boys up, going to the pub on the weekend. Yeah, this is cool. And I just wonder, oh, it's a bit high in the back, but I I'll, I'll throw a bit of ballast in so it was at the end. We look cool. That was. Yeah, you know, months we months ago. Yeah, seven last, months last, ago. Last year. Someone yeah. can check in the videos. Mad rush to go to bloody Holden Nuts. We've been sandbagging you bastards. Ooh, oh, 100k. 100 kilos. Jeez. There's two tents. So our 1260, yep. and I jumped on the brake, sort of been a 1240. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blistering performance we're picking up for free there. In trouble now. Oh, boys. Bloody Simo and hard metal and. Shaking now. Oh, they're quaking in their boots. They're the old sandbag. The sandbagger, mate, is in <laughs> So, I mean, we didn't know we were doing it, but. put on our bloody t-shirt, the sandbagger. <laughs> so, <laughs> what we actually got in here for was to take the tow bar bolts off. Okay. We'll show you after we get underneath, because the shackles are real close. Uh, yep. We played this game the other day, it sucked. Can't get the shackles out of the tow bar thing in there. Good job, Holden, whoever was yeah, that. that was another fraud another stupid decision. Rear shackles. So we're going to take, oh, we should actually terrible. measure. Uh, can't be bothered. How no. much height it actually lifts up when we take the 100 kilos out. I'll video it. So it's basically me plus. You don't have to measure before. This one brought inside that seat. That's too much effort, isn't it? Because, buddy, hard metal needs a blower pulley, I found them. Oh. Blow us now. Alright. I need that top of blow. Maybe that's why it hooked up so good. You just knocked about. Oh, yeah. 6630 mil. Yeah, right. 
And then we'll see. Let's talk about three mil tread off. <laughs> Can you lift these back a bit? You're a big, strong young man. Nah, I've had a big day of work, I think. Scratch the target. Oh. All right, as you can see, <laughs> we haven't just put them in for a laugh. And who did I abuse the other day about doing this? Yeah, me. Someone did it in their ute, um, and they, but they laid it over. <laughs> I laid them over, and then the acid was running out. Them out. But um, yeah, no, nah, it's now on the penis, oh, on the fuel tank as well. Hope that doesn't go through, mate. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh, gee, that made a big difference. It's like <laughs> 6.35, 5 mil. Oh, 5 mil. Never mind. <laughs> made it look cool, though. Yeah, no, nah, that was... That 5 mil can it. That was awesome. Oh, no. Well, uh, right. Put something to this tow bar. Yep. Right, oh. Tow bar is bloody off. Something's happened to the floor of my shitty. I don't want to ask some questions about it. I'll make that. We've got a uh, new bloody microphone. I don't know if it's working or not. Thanks for bursting. It's a cheap plug there, boys. Oh, good old matey. <laughs> He's got his bloody Sunday night dances on. Yeah, Hot day tonight there, sunshine. Looking good. No worries. Oh, bloody Fabio. What are we doing? Oh, so we've got our uh, Motifab uh, mono leaf kit here. So this is what comes in the kit. Uh, and we have, they do make diff saddles as well that we've got in the kit, but we're not going to use them yet because I don't want to waste them on the Hilux diff in case it explodes. So, <laughs> the old $150 diff has lived so far, but we have not been off the trans brake. They use them in rotaries and that, but this is a bit heavier. And the guy that tends to drive this car is probably weighs as much as a rotary. So, we've got our old ones that we put on the other day when we went to Heathcote. So, we might just run them for the minute in case this thing doesn't live. And then I have to cut them off again because cutting them off isn't the most pleasant job on earth. So, all we're going to do is undo the bolts, I guess, knock the shockers off, take our shackles off, both sides. It's a shame because we just put new rubbers in them. I guess we can use them on something else. Oh, look, we didn't do that bolt up before we went to Heathkit. That's surprising. Oh, something going on with the, uh, oh, there's a rust hole there. It shows up in camera. Well, I didn't fix any of that when we did it, so because that's why they always rust out, so the dirt could fall out. So don't worry about that. It won't rust out there again because they always rust out the bottom because the body dirt can't get out. So. And now it's just full of rubber. So rubber is better than rust, in my opinion. Right, so looks like I'm undoing all this by myself. And then... I'm going to get chicken. Oh, no worries. What, you, what sort of chicken are you getting? Oh, Nando's. Oh, bloody beautiful. No Must be nice. Oh. Hey? Yeah. So what... Pretty you, good. Yeah, right, eh? No worries. All right, well, I'll uh, do this. I'll just stay here and work, and you yeah. get a chicken. No, you slave away. Is that good with you? Yeah, that's one, man. You good with it? All right. I think everyone will. Right. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sure they bloody will. All right, so I won't bore you to death. I'll undo all this. Yeah. And then, then we've got to grind these bloody rivet jiggers off. So I'm going to get the little sandblaster out and figure out a quick and easy way after I get these spring shackles off to get them off. Because you've got your... Where are we? I can't film. So we've got six rivets there, which I reckon cut and grind the heads off. And then these bastards are spot welded, but you can't see them because they're covered in 50 years of grime. So... I'm going to clean them up, and I've bought a spot weld drill. I've lashed out and bought another new tool. Jeez. And uh, things are going to bloody happen here. So yep. I'll come home. I'll look like any dingo, and you'll still look like that, I guess. Yeah, no. Um, you fine? I'll, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah. Appreciate yeah, that. Right. Appreciate the help. He's all done I'm all sure all. no one at home has got a teenager like that. Just, you know, when the no. work's done, they run off. You'd be the only one. The old blister. The <laughs> old blister. Nah. Have a really look at him. Uh, all right. We'll uh, rip this thing apart. Please yeah, get to it, eh? Yeah, no worries. See, See you later. later. <laughs> you fucking peeny. Alrighty. Now, anyone playing this game, I've seen it on before. They've got these rivets that hold it on, which I showed you before. So, a lot of people grind them or drill them. And I'm thinking, what's the easy way? So, what I've done, if I can hold the camera straight, I'll just cut them in like... It's hard to get the grinder out. I've cut them in two slots. If it's showing up good. Yeah, go this way maybe. Where are we? Why well, is it not clear? Cut two slots and just cut the heads in them. And then I've got our trusty old airboy of uh, the Zito ones. The tips on these are shit, you've got to constantly resharpen them, but just sharpen that up, knock the heads off, 
and get Mr. Buddy uh, Rammer. And they actually pop there. So, tip there at home if you're playing the KTG game. That's the easiest way I can see to get them out without grinding in there for hours because it's rain shit out here, as you can imagine. So, I oh, haven't got my cameraman, so you don't really want to hear the air chisel. So, cut, cut them in, buddy, two strips and give them the bloody beans. I'll see if these ones come out now. I've said it, it'll probably fail. So, stand by. So, that's what you end up with after you where am I? buzz the top off them there. And you get your old punchy boy. This is going to be loud as shit on your TV, I'm guessing. And out they come. Easy peasy, bosom squeezy. I won't do that to you again because it would be terrible, I'm sure, on TV. More terrible than all production. Alright, so as you can see, <coughs> I've got them off. So, a lot of uh, air chiseling and carry on. The guy that spot welded them on from Holden must have just been looking at the hot chick's ass in the factory and just pointed the spot welder at it and just did it where he wants. So just after I've got them off, after all the shit's dark and whatever. Oh, look who turns up. Hey. Oh, here was T, oh. mate. It was a ride off. Ah, pretty good, eh? Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, can't, yeah. Can't complain. No, no, you look pretty full. Yeah. yeah. Did you bring anything to me home or? No, I wouldn't. No, have no, leftovers? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. That's oh, cool. look, you brought your little stupid dog too. Oh, awesome. How you doing? Just Oh, good dog. Oh, yeah. yeah, Look at yeah. Kiss ass. I'll kiss ass with the camera. Yeah, no worries. What do you reckon, Nitro? Hey? Hey? Oof. Here. Yeah. Yeah, start barking. Yeah. Well, normally. 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 Yeah, so if it's other we're going to do, just point the camera at and you no, stop barking. Alright, so I might have turned up just in time. That one's just a train wreck. <laughs> just in time to uh, drill some holes and we can bolt these back plates on and put our springs in. Sweet. Good timing, mate. Couldn't nice. have been better. I'm glad you missed all the air chiseling. Yeah, that's terrible. Ah, oh, yeah, no worries. I'll, I've got it, I've got it. Pretty no good, aren't I? <laughs> You're not bad. Okay. You were top by the best, I suppose. Yeah. Getting out of shit. Right no, no. What do you reckon? Nitro? Hey? Right Alright, no, we'll drill some holes here. Hey, why don't you bark now for the camera? Hey, roof. Yeah, yeah kiss no, ass. Kiss. No worries. Yeah. Hey? Alrighty, I realised I didn't really talk you through the kit. So, this is how it comes from uh, Motorfab, yeah, bloody fellow YouTuber, Lukey Kessel. So the rivet holes are actually the ones that this plate bolts to, which is your slider. So you got that there, so all you gotta do is drill them out the next size up, or your apprentice does, cause he did do the shit stuff, so then he has to drill holes, and hopefully it's covered in metal. <coughs> and then, you got your plate there, it's got D, Sure, I showed that. What you love the D? Ah, oh, yeah. don't, don't forget to get stubby about. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget to get stubby. Cheap plug. Yeah. <laughs> this is what he plugs. He's got to get for Nando's. Yeah. Don't it's buy it itself, I guess. It's not, it's not don't want to spend any free, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So it comes with that, and then you've got your front bit here. Now I've got someone to hold it. That's going to be good. So we'll bolt all that in, and it's got your little uh, your bushes there that it slides on. And push us down. So uh, we're going to get these bloody plates in. And I've got the diff held up. I'm not sure how we're going to get in the back of that up there. Do some ladder action or something. <laughs> Maybe the dog can get it. All right, start uh, drilling, Julie boy. Bloody oh, I steal me bloody portals too. You're not bad, are you? Not bad at all, really. Jesus. All right. <laughs> Fucking rare occasion here. Have a look at him. Oh, no, oh, so. Right, double thickness. Yeah, it's double terrible. It's just to go through like that. Oh, Working very well, isn't it? Well, well, he's the operator. Wouldn't blame the bloody green drill, but I bought you. First time you drilled a hole? The air from the top, I think. <laughs> Get jump up there, then. Ah, there you go. I'd probably what you were doing after Nando's. <laughs> They're pretty close. Hey, to I thought you'd be better at this. Yeah, I'm like, like, well, this, yeah that this, one. This, yeah. This, you want me to fucking drill that? Come on. That's not even really fucking possible. Everyone else at home's going to have to do it, today. Work Fuck it out. Why are you crying for? What's so uh, hard about that? It's just fucking stupid. Hey? Well, it's still a stupid fucking thing. This is the easy bit. Yeah, it's the 
is. Huh? Is really hoping to go around and smack your wrist. Right through that. <laughs> I can use a brand new drill. Oh, well, I'll go and give you the best stuff, right? Good night, man. I can use the old stuff when I was doing it. I'll show the good stuff for you. Oh, my comic book. Are you sure that's the right size? That seemed to, like it didn't drill anything. It must be the big cannons you're running, is it? All right, another bloody top tip. Get your stepper drill. Film me again by myself. Because uh, this bloody bit of tin here, because it's a double weight, this is a shitty bit of tin, just give it a quick <laughs> with the old thing and it uh, rounds it off and gives it a nice, takes all the sharp edges off it. I just noticed, and so I can see that good hole there. So, yeah, anyway, do that and then you'll be laughing. Alright, so get your springs in. It's definitely a two man job to bloody jiggle everything. So make sure you've got your offside of there when he comes back from bloody doing nothing. So just put them in, there's no drill underneath the front, the front bolt's the same size. It is worth getting a shifter and just bloody spreading the original tabs a bit because uh, the new bushes, either they get pulled in over the years or whatever. So just pull them out a bit and when you do the bolt up, it'll pull them back in. So just to make the eyelet of the spring go in. Then, oh mate, it's going to jump up in the car, and this uh, rear plate actually has some bolts welded in that are under the slider, which I'll show you once it's up. So we'll be able to just poke that through the floor, and oh mate, we'll be able to do them up, and then we'll be laughing. And then, just got to put our spring mounts back on, and we are pretty much done. So, get all made up there somehow. All right. All right there, bruh. Oh, no, you don't. Just make sure you give your offside of nuts or you'll call your penis. One, two, three, one, two. Obviously, max is my strong bit. Where are you? Oh. All right. Passenger to passenger. Hopefully, Wiki's drilled his holes in the right spot. All right, second one in. We went the next size drill up for the second one because the blokes at Holden weren't real good drilling their bloody holes in the right spot. Friday afternoon job, I'm guessing. So, my oh, mates up there, we'll do them up. And that's how you, buddy. Oh, there's a better shot. Your sliders, so that'll obviously come back. Ooh, that'll come back when it's on ground level. Oh, well, mate's into her up here. Where are we? Ah, that'll be enough to hold it if we get her on the ground. All right, let's see if we can get our mate out of here with bloody kamikaze and himself. Sit the diff on the pads, cut the bolts in, bolt the shocks on. And that's as easy as that. The old muddy motor fab mono leaf into the HGTT Buddy B kit. All right, I was telling you about these uh, pads, but I didn't actually show you. I just realised. So these are the diff pads you get from motor fab. They are beefy as shit. They've done a real nice job from Luke and the boys up there. So that's what you get with the kit. Uh, you can order them separate or with the kit. So and it actually lowers the car. I reckon looking at that about two and a half inches. So. I think this is the one they make the lowest one, but you can get ones that the, the diff sits lower to there, of course. So if you want it slammed, which we ordered, uh, they're the ones you get. So all uh, CNC bloody cut, bloody cut out. They're really thick. They're a lot better than the original tin plate ones. So they come with a kit as well. So I thought I'd better just uh, throw that in there because none of none will know what we're talking about, which is nothing unusual on this channel. But yeah. So uh, thanks to Luke and the boys. If you want one of these kits. Just go to Motorfab on Buddy, uh, what's he on? He's on Instagram, he's on YouTube, I'm sure he's on the Buddy Google Tube. Look up Motorfab and they've got all the kits there. Um, tell them you're talking to us and you'll probably get a 50% price increase. So, any questions, hit us up. Alright, next day, got called out for a digger job at Buddy Midnight last night, which was just fantastic when I was covered in shit, but 
So we've used the, uh, as we said before, the original mounts, which you'll have to get your die grinder <coughs> and just die grind the holes in a bit on the factory mount because the motor fab ones are a little bit wider. They use a decent um, U-bolt or you can bolt them with the good pads. As we said, we're not using the good pads yet because we're waiting to see what the stiff's doing. So <coughs> to mount them to the original ones, just uh, die grind your hole in a bit. It's only, it's only about oh, probably three mil. And then they'll line up, then you can put them on, bolt them all up, then just bolt up your bracketry, it's all just three quarter, do all that stuff up, nip it up, and then uh, when we go to the track, we'll uh, show you how to um, set it or whatever, we'll, we'll see, we'll have a bit of a play around with it. Uh, it's not one thing we didn't show you, the Motifab top mount, you just unscrew your original shocker bolt, just the three bolts, and they, they supply the hardware, you just bolt them in, and then you can, if you're putting an aftermarket shocker, we just got the... Uh, One's out of Cordy's car in at the moment, the Mensas, the good ones, it's way too good for this. And you've got your shocker tab there, which I haven't put the nut on yet. So the rest of it's fairly straightforward. And what else we got? Anything else I think is pretty much... Didn't really run you through the rest of this, see our bloody good exhaust. Oh, I didn't show you the bloody cross member we have to not. So if you're putting an LS in your, uh, <coughs> uh, whatever this thing is, HT wagon, you've got a notch that used to sit up flat. You have to notch and just get a bit of, you know, what's that look like? Maybe 50 mil plate and run it down and sink it down a bit so then it doesn't hit the floor up there. So that was that. Everything else is pretty straightforward. You can see the sump installation now. It's in there. Oh, it's really close. And yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, I didn't show you our bloody trick mounts. Oh, it's six cylinder ones with a bit of angle on the flat plate. So. Everything else is mint. All right, we won't bore you to death with the rest of it. We'll uh, get off to Buddy Newstead. We go get a Buddy Corvette going or explode one or the other. So any questions, let us know. Thanks for bloody watching. 10-4, good buddies. Uh -uh.